So I went backstage and I, I did some magic for the judges in their dressing room. Uh, and I got to see a sneaky peek of uh, the, the acts for the next series. And, uh, and also Amanda and Alicia also spilled a bit of beans of the kind of acts they think will win this year. Or what they think. Oh, so, yeah, a few do little, tell. Oh, I can't tell you, you have to watch the, the show, see what they said from, from themselves. Uh, I don't really misquoted, but yeah, they gave a little indication of the kind of act they thought we'd win. What was it like going back it and was, reuniting with them? And yeah, it was great. It was very strange. Um, it's a shame I didn't do the London auditions last year. I did uh, Liverpool, uh, which they didn't do this year. Um, so it's a different environment. But yeah, seeing acts going on, and a lot of them mention my name. They come on stage and say, oh, what, what Richard Jones last year, blah, blah. It's quite funny. I was sitting there like, oh, yeah. They're, they're all positive, I was, <laughs> which is good. Would have been funny if they said negative things, but they're all positive, which is good. Um, yeah, really bizarre going back. But I love it. I, I spent the whole day there. We finished filming. I just spent the rest of the day watching the acts. It was great. There's some really great talent. Any magicians? Loads. Yeah, yeah. Loads any and good? loads of magicians. <laughs> yeah, there's some great ones. There's a lot of magicians. Um, I don't know if there's any army guys that are doing talent stuff. I'm sure there are some of them as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really good time for ma magicians. Uh, I think it's really popular at the minute, which is good. So I reckon, I reckon a magician could win again. Uh, I think there's loads of surprise acts this year. Uh, a lot of dog acts, and a lot of acts that aren't dog acts, but they've dressed like dogs. Uh, so I'm pr I, I, I reckon a dog act could win this year, whether that's a human dressed as a dog or an actual dog act. Or a dog doing magic. That would be great. I don't know if anyone's thought of that. So we've got the 11th series of Britain's Got Talent yes. coming up. I mean, why do you think people still go for it, go and audition, and why do you think viewers still love watching it? Uh, I think it brings such an amazing variety of things together. Uh, the beauty of... Britain's Got Talent is you can never predict what kind of an act you're going to see. Every year there's, there's acts who completely surprise you, that you're like skills that you'd never even heard of coming on and I think that's the amazing part. And the other thing is the fact that it's the audience at home who vote. It's great to see who, who, get, who does well in the finals because um, it shows that's what people are interested in. It shows like the great thing for Magic that, that I won, it shows that Magic is a cool thing and everyone's really into Magic at the minute, which is a great sign for, for all magicians out there. Uh, I know so many magicians who've, who've said they're so pleased that I won because uh, magicians are getting booked for weddings and all sorts on a bigger scale now because everyone, it's on people's minds. They think, oh, I'm getting married. Uh, oh, what about a magician? They, they might not have thought of it before. Uh, so everyone, all the, ma the Magic community is over the moon with it.